Hi everybody, Amber here from Atomic Photography, bringing you tips, tricks and advice on beauty, fashion and travel photography. In this week's video, I'm bringing you my current top five female photographers. Let's roll. When I started out in photography around 15 years ago, I had an overriding sense and feeling that I was a rarity. So I would walk onto set and people would be surprised that I was female. I'm glad to say that things have changed in the industry. There are more and more female photographers and creatives uh, coming up through the industry and that's fantastic to see. And I just wanted to take some time out to celebrate some of them. So in no particular order, I'm gonna be talking about my top five female photographers right now, why I like their work and how they inspire me and hopefully you can follow their work too and see them rise and rise and their stars shine and shine even brighter. So I'm going to start off with uh, one of my favourites at the moment and one of my favourites I think for a very long time in fact um, and I've known her for a number of years now. She actually modelled for me a few years ago. Her name is Tina Eisen. Tina is a predominantly beauty photographer and her work is very pretty and very glossy, I would say. She has a particular gift for lighting skin um, that shows the natural texture in the skin but brings out a real sheen to it. So I I sometimes look at her work and I'm like, oh, how did she how did she achieve that? And I think that's that's a real art in itself to make other artists and creators go, yeah, how does she how does she do that? I want to see how she does that. The other thing that I absolutely love about her work, and there's no surprise that she is a favourite of mine, is her use of florals in imagery. So, you know, flowers just feature a lot in her work, the way that it does in mine, and I think we both are slightly sort of, you know, garden fairies when it comes to flowers um, and nature and things like that. So I love her use of that, but she also brings an edge to her beauty imagery. I think I'm not so great at bringing edginess out into my images. I'm very pretty Lala and, you know, and that's fine with me, but I love how she brings a bit of edge to her imagery. And Tina is a fellow Canon user. She speaks and collaborates with Canon a lot. Um, so I will put all, all of the female photographers' details and, and links, social media links in the description below so that you can follow them as well. Um, and I would definitely recommend you check out some of her talks about her creative workflow process um, as well as retouching. As well as being known for her beauty work predominantly, Tina has some fantastic fashion imagery as well. Do check out her product review and test in New York City. I have serious photo envy of her work from New York. Um, I would definitely check it out and have a look and see how you can be inspired by Tina too. Next up, I'm gonna be talking about a lady who is, she's an American lady who now lives in Europe, is an amazing fashion photographer, and that is Dana Cole. I guess when I'm thinking about Dana's work, there is one word that really comes to mind, and that is color. Her use of color is absolutely stunning. She is bold with it, she's brash with it, uh, but I, but at the same time, being bold and brash doesn't mean that she's not thoughtful with it. And she brings together a really high-end, sort of glossy, high fashion imagery aesthetic and then smashes it with this massive hit of colour. And it just, it's so in your face. But you kind of, when I think of her work as well, I think Harper's Bazaar, Vogue, you know, you could you could easily see you know, her images on the pages of those magazines, which then the next word that comes to mind around her work is editorial. She does put thought into sort of the storytelling or the sets 
that she presents to you in her shoots. And, you know, I think that's something that I need to get better at. I don't know about you guys, but I need to get better at not just going, oh, that was a great shot and that was a great shot, but really pulling together a story that looks very editorial and that has just that bam kind of quality and impact to it. Growing up as an Asian as well, I think I appreciate her work because of the colour. Because um, I grew up surrounded by colour and beauty and, you know, whether it's in our clothes or whether it's in, you know, the, the jewellery and our food. I love how Dana brings that colour, but also ethnic diversity into her imagery. So she will shoot what you would see in your Harper's Bazaar and your Vogue's and everything, but she shoots them with ethnically diverse models. And I absolutely adore that. I've, I've done that sometimes with my Asian imagery. I've shot for a couple of Asian brands um, in Pakistan and India. And just taking that sort of Western aesthetic and, and, and posing guide, I guess, to a, an ethnically diverse sort of, you know, model set. I think has a lot of power, um, especially given that when I was growing up, I didn't see Asian models. We hardly saw any black models. And I love how she brings that out in her work. And also just her retouch is phenomenal. You look at the quality, you can still see all the texture, the crispness of her images. I can't, I can't fangirl her enough, so um, I'll put all her details in the links below. She also runs a, a magazine by her own name, Cole Magazine, and you should definitely check it out. So this next photographer that I'm going to be talking about is fairly new on the scene. She's a fellow Londoner like me. I don't know her personally. I know her through social media. I've been following her work. She also has a YouTube channel, so do follow and subscribe her as well. And I guess out of the pack of photographers that I'm talking about today, she's the most different one. And her name is Rebecca Spencer. She has shot for a number of brands in the UK um, as well as abroad and I just love the joy of life in her imagery. So she's definitely one to watch everybody and I've enjoyed charting sort of her, her progress so far. She's got a real street vibe to her imagery, very urban chic, it's very youthful, and I guess that's why a lot of the brands that she's shot for are attracted to her work. She just manages to capture, which is really quite difficult, um, I'm really not underestimating how difficult it is to capture mood and emotion in images, and she captures a vibe that just looks a bit like a celebration of life, like just such a really cool, chic party vibe. And I love that about her work and I can't wait to see more from her. Some samples of her work, she does she does her own retouching as well. She does a mixture of lighting backgrounds. Do check out her channel, she, she talks more about it there. But I just know that I love her imagery and I, like I said, I look forward to seeing more from you, Rebecca. So another young female photographer that I have been following recently and was really introduced to her by YouTube initially is a young lady in Australia called Julia Trotty. Out of all the photographers here, I relate to her and her work quite a bit. I wish I could bring more of her style into my work right now. So the I've changed direction creatively a couple of times. I'm sure quite a few artists have felt this over over their career in photography where you start out doing certain styles and then you experiment and you might enjoy another one. And the style that I'm really liking and that I'm having lots of, I guess, um, image envy over is, is what Julia captures. And I guess if I had to try and describe that to you guys, that would be very organic, very naturally pretty, natural light, lots of sort of, you know, natural location shoots. And I think that's where I'm weakest at. I think I'm weakest at, at location photography. And I think that's why I'm, I'm looking at, at how Julia does things and how, how she lights her work, how she composes her work to, to be more inspired. And do check out her, her tips and advice videos, her tutorials, 
they're really really useful very very helpful I will put all the details in the description below but I guess it's really how she lights her subject and how she captures just this really really beautiful soulful aesthetic it's why I've recommended her to my brother he's getting married in Australia next year so you never know Julia you might be shooting his his wedding for him but I think the biggest reason why I love Julia's work is how she captures a very soulful a very thoughtful looking image and I want to bring that more into my work so uh, definitely fangirling Julia's work at the moment too the next photographer I'm talking about is somebody who really is the, the aspirational photographer in this list for me. Her name is Magic Owen. She has been doing some stunning work recently. She does very fairy tale, whimsical uh, photo shoots, really looks like amazingly high production values and just makes my jaw drop. I look at her work and I'm just like, Oh, I wish I could do that. And how did she do that? And I think as any kind of artist, whether you're in film, whether you're in photography, whether you're a painter, whatever creative field you're in, I think it's a real achievement to make fellow artists go, how did they do that? Oh, I want to be like that when I grow up. And, you know, she, she, I think, really encapsulates some of that very high-end, very creative, really out there kind of aesthetics that so many people would aspire to and, you know, look at and go, oh, I wish if only, and don't ever get there. And so, yeah, thank you for putting out such amazing work and being an inspiration to so many people. I just love that sort of fairy tale feeling, that sort of otherworldly, ethereal feel to images that, you know, I can only wish that I could bring to, to my game and my sets. So yeah, I definitely so, so look forward to more work that she does. I think she's gone to America recently. I would really like to see what she does and the more work that comes out from her, the better. <laughs> I'm definitely following her rise. So there you have it, my top five favorite female photographers right now. If you did find this video useful, please like and subscribe, it really does make a difference. If you want me to cover any topics in the future, just let me know in the comments section and I'd be happy to create more content for you going forward. And yeah, see you next time uh, with more videos coming very, very soon.